Hello and welcome to Fembis Reviews. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. I want a balloon made of my head. What? If Pinky can have one, so can I. Okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> so in this episode, um, we will be reviewing Friendship is Magic issue 57. So in this issue, Pinkie Pie accidentally becomes trapped in the Scots realm. What would happen to her? I guess you have to listen to find out. So before I carry on, this episode here is partly sponsored by a Patreon user named Dracatorius. Thank you so much, my friend. So anywho, let's get into first impressions. So you know what? I've always been saying, Silver, what do you think of this episode? But I'm going to change the script a bit. So I'm going to go first, if you don't mind. Gasp! Who are you, and what have you done with Norman? I'm a changeling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> but anywho, uh, my thoughts on this episode, <laughs> my thoughts on this comic. It's an interesting read. Going through this comic, I saw a few things that hint at the episode where they're trying to do a lot of crossovers between the book and the episodes, or mostly the episodes and the books. And I find it highly entertaining. And... Reading this, the comic world, they do callbacks to past issues. For example, the Nightmare Rarity arc, or the arc where Discord lost his powers and whatnot. And it's really, really fascinating to see that the comics has its own canon, yet it's trying to mix with the show's canon. And I do like that. And as for the story here, it's really interesting. And this God's world is interesting too. So yeah, totally worth a read. And Silver, what about you? Well, I too enjoyed this comic immensely. I found it fun. I found it visually interesting. It's nice to explore Discord's chaos dimension because we don't see that very often. Or we only see snippets of it from his house. It could be a pretty dangerous place. But that just makes me think of that poor postal pony who's still floating around inside. And we don't know if he ever got out. In fact, if I remember right, uh, in the most recent Discord Fluttershy episode, you still see him floating around in the background. True. I do remember that. It's easy to miss, but then you think, oh my god, how long has he been in there? So dark. This children's show could be very dark. I know. <laughs> I can't really go into likes and dislikes too much without uh, spoilers, so I shall withhold my commentary until such time. Indeed. So, anywho, if you guys at home... Want to know what happened? We suggest you go reading the book before listening to this. And welcome back. And we start off with our main star, Discord, and his best friend Fluttershy popping into what I can say, the edge of Ponyville, where they have walked to the uh, sanctuary. Yes, the pet sanctuary. And Discord and Fluttershy here are having a nice talk about Tea parties and Fluttershy thanking Discord about inviting her to his realm for the tea parties and she highly enjoyed the tea party with its um, plat flavored biscuits and self drinking teas. <laughs> I wonder how that works. Well, this is a question. If you give tea sentience that it can sing or dunk itself, does it feel pain? Is it going to die a horrible screaming death in the boiling water? Like, oh God, why? My life is pain. If you think about it, it'll be something similar to Cuphead. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? I'm not going to go there. Cuphead's hard. It's, it, it gets just a little dark. Indeed. Just a little dark. Again, we're we're going dark places with this comic. I know. Norman, I'm scared. Hold me. Oh, I'll hold you close. <laughs> uh, so, anywho. Uh, Discord tells Fluttershy that he can't wait to see the pet sanctuary and... Fluttershy says that, oh, you're going to really, really like it. And rushing down is Gummy and Pinky. And I don't know why they didn't really notice them or say hi or anything like that. But yeah, um, Gummy leaps into the portal and so does Pinkie Pie. And oh, wow, what happens next is just chaotic. Pinkie Pie and Gummy are trapped in the world of the chaos, which seems nice and everything. But those flying goldfish... They're out to get them. And and cue the chase music. Well, I do want to point out, I think some folks would cry foul that Discord leaves a portal open when he could just blink here and there, no problem. Uh -huh. But there, there's two problems with that issue. One, you're looking for consistency from Discord. 
which is a flaw in and of itself. And two, we have we have seen him tear open portals to other dimensions when he was trying to banish Tree Hugger. So this is just a case where he tried one style and it hit him. For all the goldfish, I'm more fascinated by that floating whale. I haven't seen a sky whale since since the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and that did not go well for him. Oh God, no, uh, no comment on that one. But yes, true. Um, consistency from Discord is like uh, hoping you win the lottery. Yes. So Pinkie Pie runs away from the man eating or pony eating goldfish, and stumbles upon the absurd. And it seems that it's staring back at her. And I think here starts the trouble. Back in Ponyville, Discord is amazed at the whole place. And it says, you did all this without snapping a finger? Huh. I could have just snapped the finger for you. Like, I can, like, this is very simple. And Fluttershy says that not all of us has chaos magic. And remember way back when, when I wanted Discord to come in and help? Like, yeah, that'll be so much fun. <laughs> Although it might not work out well for the animals. Oh, yeah, true that. But Mott comes in and says that, uh, have you guys seen Pinkie Pie? She's supposed to have lunch with me today, but I can't find her. And Fluttershy says, no, I, I haven't seen her. And here is where Discord is introduced to Mott Pie. Mott Pie is not impressed. Like, your Discord, eh, you're nothing special. I've seen worse. Honestly, I'm... I'm surprised he doesn't remember from that sick burn she delivered at the gala. We shall not talk about that. <laughs> Come on. Performers remember their most troublesome guests. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, uh, here Discord is just wondering, like, what happened? Like, she was supposed to become a whale, but she didn't. Like, what happened here? This is troubling. This is really, really troubling. And here Fluttershy says, um, maybe... You have problems from recently losing your powers. This could be a reference to issue 48 to 50. Or it could be way back when, when T-Rex take his powers. You pick. It's. I think it's from Chaotic Harmony or Discord and Harmony where he started turning invisible or see-through. Oh, yeah. That's the latest where he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I now remember. Although, it's, again, continuity... Yay! Like I mentioned before, the crossovers with this are strong. And if I remember right, this one was actually synced close enough that early releases didn't foil uh, the comics integration. That must have been frustrating for the staff. It's like, we planned this all out and then some bozo starts airing it early? And Canada? Thank you, eh? Eh? Oh, sorry about that there, buddy. Eh? I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that cracks me out all the time. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> this Scott says um, it could be possible. So this I suggest let's head to Twilight. Maybe she knows how to solve this problem. And this Scott sighs, saying books are going to be involved, isn't it? Almost definitely. <laughs> yes. And we head back to the Chaos Realm, where Pinkie Pie seems to be in control, part of it. She has a hot air balloon with her in the shape of her head. There's fireworks that she taught off. There's sceneries that being... Ah, there's so much things that I don't know what to mention. It's so chaotic. See, that, but I want a balloon like that. Imagine a silver quill balloon. Ah, no comment. I, I think <laughs> all the hot air is going through your head. Exactly. It's true to life. <laughs> ah, yes. Truth in advertising. Demand it. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Uh, let's head back to the Castle of Friendship. In the Castle of Friendship, Twilight tries to figure out what's wrong with Discord and tells Discord to change colors. And Discord did, but it's not going as planned because the color that Discord wanted didn't get through. Instead, he's green. A very ugly looking green at that too. Well, he's always been green with envy. <laughs> that episode, yes. So, they come to surmise that something is wrong and we need to hit the books. And that they did. And going through the books, they figure out that, hey, we need to poke into the realm of the chaos and we're using you as the conduit. So, before Discord could argue about 
this or suggest that isn't there a better plan? They zap him and somehow see that the Chaos Realm is pinky flavored. So yeah, that can be good. And this explains why Discord's losing his powers. Because there's another entity in the Chaos Realm that's sucking away all the chaotic magic. If I could double back for one sec, we get to see Twilight and Starlight working off each other to find solutions. And it's a really good student-teacher dynamic. Twilight's looking for ideas. Starlight has things a little fresher in her mind because she just learned them. So she asks about that. Twilight says, good idea, let's do some research. And they work off one another really well. Starlight doesn't have all the answers, but she does have the ideas that help spur Twilight. Twilight has the knowledge and resources. It's a great balance. They also have a book on montages, which is important. Yeah, we did a montage. <laughs> montage! Yes, that's also true. Uh, the, the writer for this would be Tom Zaylor. He seems to have a good grasp on the situation here, which is really good. I do like it. Very good. That's really good. So anywho, um, we, the whole crew gets the whole friends together to solve this problem. And they have a good explanation of why Starlight is not going or not following them. And that she needs to activate the spell and she needs to be the anchor. That makes sense. Once there, they need to be in a boat. And the boat is kind of the conduit to travel around. So, yay. Now, I will say, again, this is a good balance with Starlight. She's helping, but not taking over. After the events of, uh, what was it? Discord, Chaos Theory, where Discord became Accord. And Starlight kind of stole the show in the last issue. It's good to see her help out, but then step aside to let others shine. True, and this warrants the explanation of why she's not joining them. I would love to see Starlight join for this one, because Starlight and Discord are kind of friends. Well, to me, they're friends, but I'm not 100% sure where their level of friendship are. You know what I mean? Yep. We're not sure if we're at the frenemy stage yet. I think that's the highest you can get with Discord if your name isn't Fluttershy. Yeah, true. And that um, conversation that Larson had at the panel that he had in Brony Can, sorry, Brony Can, and also with you, kind of made me wonder, like, if he's still in charge, how would Discord treat Twilight? His idea has always been he wants Discord to kind of rag on Twilight, but still they're friends, but it doesn't mean that your friends can't make your life a living hell. Yeah, I do that to you every every podcast. Uh, I know. And I... Come in the side door, <laughs> Ah! Anyway, back on track. They go through... Yay! Uh, what? <laughs> so anyway... <clears throat> they go through the Discord realm or the Chaos realm and see that things are being redecorated to how Pinky would do things. And this is troublesome because Pinky being here or... As Discord explains it, a normal pony being in this realm would make them go insane. But not Pinky. Uh, it seems that this drives her to become more chaotic or she's adapting. That's not good. And they need to find her before she's gone over to the chaotic side. Come to the chaos side. We have sprinkles! Oh god, no. And... <laughs> uh, and as they go through the realm, uh, they see things like a food realm, a desert sand realm, and a really interesting art realm. You Do you remember that art where the screaming person is? I, I don't remember that one. Yeah, the screamer. I, I will say Fluttershy is a little overt in her reference. Yeah, but it's very artistic. <laughs> very artistic. Now, I will say, I think this issue could have been a two-parter, featuring the ponies traveling through a landscape of Pinky's chaotic mind. Uh, I don't feel like, although Starlight got out of the way to let everyone else have a chance to shine, not everyone does. Uh, true. And you know what? I do agree with you on the whole two-parter, because when I started reading this, I thought that, hey, is this a two-parter? And when I got to the end, ah, oh, no, it's just one part. But still, it could have been a two-parter. 
Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Mm-hmm. But it's fun. True, true. And with that, uh, Rainbow Dash wants to go up ahead and scout things. And it seems that, no, that's a bad idea. She kind of crashes or her tails become uh, really, really long. And they meet up with Pinkie Pie. And Pinkie Pie is on a throne. You know, whenever you see a character on a throne uh, with one hand or one hoof on their head in a very menacing pose, that's not good. Although when she puts a leg up on the throne, it's now it's like, are you watching the game and chugging a beer? <laughs> uh, probably. So before uh, they could stop her, Pinkie Pie traps Discord in a bubble. And in said bubble, there's helium. And it makes Discord's voice very squeaky. <laughs> I would very much like John Delancey to have to do that. Play squeaky Discord. <laughs> Oh, that would be interesting to see. Although I appreciate that you've made him Mickey Mouse. <laughs> One day I will destroy you all. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. I own all your property. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh God, uh, let's not go there. So, anywho, all of her friends try to talk Pinky down and come back to us. Like this is not you. This this is um uh this realm is altering the way you think. But Pinkie Pie says, no, I like it here because whatever I can think of happens and this is fun. I can throw all the party I want. After collecting enough chaotic energy, I can throw any party anywhere. And she turns to become the Princess of Chaos. And this reminds me... Yes. This reminds me of Nightmare Rarity. Uh. I wasn't sure when Rarity references, great, this nightmare again. <laughs> uh, at first I was like, hmm, well, there was uh, Nightmare Rarity. Mm-hmm. Then there was Pinkie Pie going insane uh, in the Ponies of Dark Water. Mm-hmm. There was also uh, Alicorn Rarity in uh, in the issue where she and Pinkie put a book together. But as folks pointed out to me, you don't, it's not easily seen right away, but there's a high Amy written in the clouds right next to Alicorn Pinky's unveiling. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's in reference to, I believe, Amy Meberson, artist of the Nightmare Rarity art. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because, oh, okay, uh, personally for me, when I mentioned that Nightmare Rarity and the line from Rarity saying that, it, to me it's just that the pose here looks very similar that's me. I- I'm not sure about you, but oh yes, very similar. Yeah, and now that it's quote unquote kind of confirmed with the say hi Amy, <laughs> so it's like yeah, it's very meta. Uh, but still, getting back on track, Rarity saves Discord from the bubble or balloon, and Discord says that she hasn't bonded completely with the dimension yet, and he can save her with stuff. But he needs to do it fast. And with that, he invoked trial by Chukokokov? Kukukokov. 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 Try and say it three times fast. Kukukokov. Kukukokov. Nope. No. Nope. I can't do it. Why does it sound like a Mughal Kupo? Kupo. Anywho, Pinkie Pie says there's no such thing. And Discord says, of course there's not. I just made it up. Now, are you too chicken to face me or not? And Pinkie Pie says, let's bring it. And they do. And they kind of enter a battle of wits. And this is very interesting. I, I don't want to go through what they do because it's very nonsensical. Oh, but there's some there's some great notes, including Pinkie Attacks Discord with editor's notes, the bane of creativity. Yes, I think Larson knows that too well. <laughs> but still, there's also the whole... Uh, how do I put this? Uh, to summarize everything here, it's a battle of creativity where they do puns, they do creative thinking, and this court here points out that, oh, you're using public domain. How original. And it seems that Applejack can't watch the battle ensue while Pinkie Pie is just having a blast while eating popcorn. And Rarity says that, now, as a creative myself, I think Discord just played his best move. 
And that's really interesting to see because could you imagine what would happen if Rarity was trapped in this realm? I could see fabrics as far as the eye could see. I could uh, fancy ponies and dinners trying to make the chaos realm orderly. <laughs> Though it might end up a bit like inspiration manifestation. Oh, God, no. Uh, they can't be good. This is what I mean, though, when with the, the cast getting to show their best. Rarity is providing the most insight right now. But Applejack and Rainbow really haven't gotten to do anything except say, I, I can't look. And you know what? Rainbow Dash... <laughs> uh, you remember when we always say that uh, Applejack is a background pony? That goes true for Rainbow Dash here because besides for the whole scene where she's flying and her tail got really, really long, uh, that's about it. Yep. Of course, pulling on Rainbow's tail is now like a rite of passage. <laughs> You're not a member of the main six unless you've yanked on the tail. Oh, my. <laughs> yep, yep. But anywho, after a battle of creativity, Pinkie Pie kind of lost her stride and Discord wins. With that, Pinkie Pie goes back to normal and says that she has a really, really terrible headache. Discord says that being in control of this much chaos is not easy, but I make it manage. Here, I open a portal to home and you guys can walk through it. And before they leave, Rarity says to Discord, that was very clever, Discord, getting her to use all her ideas up while keeping yours. And Discord admits that it was tough because he almost ran out of ideas. And Discord pulls out a sleepy slide and sends Rarity to Ponyville in style. Look at her pose. Shoots and ladders. I know. Oh yeah, she... She lands with style. I know. And she's safe. <laughs> Although, she is technically sliding in the dirt. Yeah, but... No comment. <laughs> and once everyone's safe back home, Pinkie Pie... Or Starlight here says that, Hey, uh, you're back. How did it go? Pinkie Pie explains that she took over the Chaos Dimension and became a Prince of Chaos. So it's been a crazy day. While Discord in his realm, says that, you know what, I'm just going to keep the decorations. It works. It works. Well, this is one of the things I like about this comic. This shows healthy competition. Pinky and Discord really pushed themselves to the limit. Discord won just barely. And rather than spend his entire time gloating about it, he admits, yeah, she pushed me and I, I have some new ideas. I am inspired. Nowadays, we equate losing with death so frequently we think it's the end of the world if you lose something. And that's why a lot of sports and competition has become so hostile or driven by, you know, fraud and scandal. People are so afraid to lose now that we'll, we'll even undermine the game itself. I like seeing this depiction of mutual respect, pushing one another to limits, and growing as a result. Yeah, and the interaction between the ponies and Discord here has gotten a lot better, in my opinion, here. Because in the past, we always seen the ponies being really aggressive towards Discord. And I think that point changed when we got, um, what about Discord? Would you agree? Very much. That was when they finally stopped sneering at each other. And he actually got to get along with most of the ponies, except Twilight. Yes, because Twilight was in her sabbatical for about a week. Or three days, I don't remember. Or oh, a weekend. Yeah, a weekend. So, yeah. But at the same time, too, Discord was just doing that because he wanted to spite Twilight. So, yeah. Uh, but anywho, we reached the end. So, let's go for our final thoughts. And I shall go first. This comic here was a lot of fun to read. The visuals were awesome. The writing was pretty good. The interaction between the characters were believable. And this card here was a joy to watch. He wasn't too overboard in what he was doing, and that made him bearable. His interaction with Rarity was surprising, and I do like that. We always know that Discord and Fluttershy are an item. They work well with each other. They make a great couple. But what would have happened if the other characters were to be, quote-unquote, his best friends? And we see that here with Rarity. Nothing more... There's nothing really beyond that. Like, 
an understanding between creatives. But I would like to see other um, interactions because besides Discord and Fluttershy and Rarity here, we do know that he had interactions with the CMC before. So I want to see more. I, w- I want to see c- Discord's character develop a bit more in the future. And Silver, what about you, man? Well, I enjoyed this. This was a fun treat where in which Discord, Pinky, Starlight, and Twilight, and Rarity all got to shine. Fluttershy was supportive. Applejack and Rainbow were somewhat superfluous. Spike was present. <laughs> yes. But it's fun. It shows a healthy sense of competition. It, it <clears throat> engages the audience. So I give it a hearty recommendation. I think this was a very good and enjoyable issue. I would love to see more of Discord's Chaos Realm and know that Postal Pony found his way out sooner or later. Oh, yeah, totally. Otherwise, he's loopier than a kite right now. True, true. Discord did mention that any normal pony will go insane while... You know what? It... Here's the thing. If the Postal Pony do survive his endeavors in the Chaos Realm, he would have changed the world into his own. There will be flying letters, there will be packages, stampeding packages and whatnot. But no, uh, it seems that he's alive and safe, probably? Probably. (laughs) Or he may just not have the will to uh, take over as Pinky did. Or he might go crazy and will one day go postal. (laughs) Ah, No. (laughs) Yes. But anywho... But Silva, what are we going to do next week? Well, I believe we have... Uh, it's time to revisit the episodes of the show. Ah, uh, yes. For you, for you see, there's still much of Season 7 left for us to cover. And we must press on. Press on. True. For true. now we enter the phase where the Pillars of Equestria are introduced as we review Campfire Tales. Oh, yes. This one. This one is going to be very interesting because starting from this one, Every episode that involves with the Legends of Magic, including everything that is related to it, is a patron sponsored by Starstream. So he's been waiting for a long time for this one. So let's try our best because the Legends of Magic series are insane. Mina san, kabaryo! Yari yari Ikimasu! Ah! have you been watching? Arigato, Mina san! Not yet. Uh, but anywho, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, deleted contents, and exclusives only on the Patreons. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat, Namjagotorius, Starstream, Master of Light, and also Amy. Thank you guys so much for the awesome support. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Cecil Vakriel. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of MBS Show. See ya. Arigato Mirasan, Sarena! What anime have you been watching, my friend? Well, actually, last night I just watched Dragon Ball Super, where they had uh, Rebellion. Oh, God. Oh, she's always talking about love. <laughs> oh, God. Love, love, love. Although she gets to unleash her super special ultimate attack. Oh, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more.